is up guys it's a wanted turtle today we have another pokemon video for everyone we are doing some more burning shadows still looking for our first rainbow rare charizard uh but in addition to that we are opening up one of our favorite products on this channel the recent set of tins the tag team tins and we're actually doing our favorite one which is by far the picaram um we've had really good luck with this product so uh, i did get more just for that reason because i really enjoy opening it and uh yeah as far as tins go this was a very good one uh although i do have mixed feelings especially when so it does seem like right now there's all this hype for the reshiram charizard and i'm pretty sure in a couple months like they're going to drop the unbroken bond ones and you can get the reshiram charizard from there just like that so I always have mixed feelings about that, um, especially after, you know, like Russian Charizard is going for like uh, upwards of like $50 right now, which is pretty absurd. I think that's like overpaying for it. Uh, but still, then like you could probably get it for like 20 something, $25 in, in a couple months and always love these, the GX thing, how it's a, a nice metal one. So always happy with that. And this tin I find is actually really nice to store um, bulk. Uh, even though, you know, it's kind of, they do have like those slants, so it's not perfect, but it works pretty well. Um, you can store a lot of cards in there, so. If you need a good way to store cards and you have a bunch of these tins, that's the way to go. Of course, we have our promo card. It's, it's, uh, just an amazing art. Um, I do like how they're they're constantly changing how what kind of arts they print so they have the regular GX, the full art, and then the rainbow, but then the alternate arts as well. It is a little confusing how um, some of the the um, they're only available in the set and some are not. So we have nine packs in total. We're going to start with Forbidden Light. I feel like this one was not the most exciting set, although we do do pretty well on this set typically. Now let's see if we can't start off with a strong hit code card for you guys if you do manage to snag one of the codes let me know if you pull something good um while i no longer play ptcgo that was always fun to just kind of like open packs and then i remember uh probably for um to my to a point where i was doing it to my disadvantage uh when i would pull a good card and i love the idea how you kind of trade and i would always just trade for more packs even if they're like older packs i thought that was really fun so we have a gibble for our reverse and then a meow stick Regular rare. Let's uh, let's do a burning shadows. Burning shadows, such a good set. Although still looking for our first rainbow rare, Charizard. Will today be the day, everyone? Let's see. We have a darkness energy, dust clops, Ace roll, a pretty good card. Dump bodybuilding dumbbells, hoot hoot, Alolan Vulpix, a Ralts, Alolan Grimer. Sneasel, a Mudsdale, always an interesting Pokemon, then Heracross for the regular rare. All right, we'll do another one. Marshadow Pack Art. All right, we have a Water Energy. A Ribambi, Sophocles, Escape Rope, Crow Brawler, Sneasel, Venipede, a Horsey, Cutie Fly, Alolan Vulpix, and then the Tangrowth. Has Tangrowth ever gotten like a GX or anything? I feel like that one, he's always he's always just a regular rare. I'm not even sure if I've seen like a hollow version of him. Although I don't, I don't really blame him. He's like just like this big spaghetti monster. <laughs> uh, but I do. I am a person that likes to, I feel like everything should be equal, and I, I'm not sure if, uh, Tangrowth has ever gotten any, any time in the spotlight that I'm aware of. I, I'm, I did spend, have like a 10 year hiatus. Okay, one interesting on XY packs, I feel like, um, probably not that often, but it feels pretty often. Like, we get the Spirit Link, and then, ooh, Imakuni's Do Duo. The not-so-rare Secret Rares, although I'm not sure if I have this one, so very happy with that. The regular Do Duo. Um, that we pull the Spirit Link card, and then we actually pull the card that turns into oh, close. Uh, not not the slot we we're looking for, but a very nice hit. Nine Tails Break, 
Break was an interesting mechanic. I feel like they're, for the most part, pretty weak, and I don't understand why this is a rare. Um, but I, I like how they keep changing things up. You know, now they have the tag teams. I wouldn't mind something, something like the Breaks again. But I feel like they just didn't make them strong enough. The only one that I was aware of that ever really did anything was the Greninja Break. But even that, I felt like it was a little difficult to pull off. All right, now we're moving on to our, um, is this tag team? No, it's not tag team. Burning Shadows again. Got a little confused there. Wick, Wishful Baton, Rabambi, Cutie Fly, Lediba, Alolan Grimer, Rio Loop running on the beach, a Pam Pour for the reverse, and then another Mudsdale. Got a couple of him now. All right, we have two packs. Two packs, Burning Shadow, two packs, um, tag team. So far, we don't have any. We do get a. We do have a break, but no big hits yet. All right. Will this be the one? All right. Let's see. Fire energy. Lunatone. Wick. Oh, there's a new John Wick movie apparently. <laughs> Didn't even know the third one came out. Uh, we have a Snuffle, a Pan Sage, Crow Gunk. A Shenotic, and let's see if we're gonna get our first hit. I think we did. Nope, it's a Bruckfish. The terrifying fish that belongs in the bottom of the sea where we will never see it. Alright, let's go into Team Up. So, interesting trivia. I have no idea how many Team Up packs I've opened. I'm pretty sure I still have never, never have yet to open a uh, pull a Will Lord Magikarp. Which, uh,. Maybe maybe we'll be right here, but uh, it's almost it's almost uh, I find it humorous at this point, um, or at least I can laugh about it. Uh, how it just doesn't seem it just seems like it's not meant to be. We have a Janine or Jasmine for the reverse, and then ooh, very nice hit right there, Zapdos. Although I feel like I I haven't heard as much about Zapdos. I'm sure it's still relative a, a very popular deck or very viable deck. Um, and if anything, I I would assume that it's just because everyone's trying to play with the unbroken bonds. Uh, but for all the channels I watch, I do play a competitive PTCGO. I feel like I haven't seen it much. Okay, our last pack of Burning Shadows. While we do have a lot of good hits, um, still have yet to get our first GX. So let's see if we can't fix that real quick. Burning Shadows, but there's a time to break a streak. You want to do it with the Burning Shadows pack. Fire, uh, fighting, Seedra. Glo Gloom always looks so weird. <laughs> Lunatone, Hoot Hoot, Tangela, Dewpiter, Inke, Ralts, a Reverse Crow Gunk, and then a very cool looking but not very impressive Gyarados. Alright guys, last pack. Can we find some last pack magic? We have the Pikaram pack art from the Pikaram tin. Ooh, actually maybe I... So, let's see. We did pull a Zapdos, which is nice. We pulled a secret rare... Um, the, the... From Evolutions. But beyond that, no, no big hits. So maybe, maybe we're wrong about how these are always lucky for us. I hope not. Maybe our hot streak will come to an end. We have a Charmander, Poopitar, and then a Nido Queen. Ah, okay. So when we step away from the booster boxes, um, things kind of got a little. I, I, I still feel like this is a pretty good one. Like anytime you open a tin, you start off at at one, and especially with the peak around tin. In my opinion, you start off at like a a one point five. Uh, and you know, I feel like between these, I, I would bring this up to like an, a satisfying opening. Uh, didn't get any of the GXs or anything like that, but Zapdos still, I'm pretty sure it's still a very viable card. Uh, the Zapdos Dratch deck is just very easy to run. Nine Tails Break, cool card. E Makuni's Do Duo, and then the promo Pikachu and Zekrom. Still a very good card. I think um, it's still one of the most powerful decks in the current meta so um there we go guys uh hope you enjoyed the opening as always if you want to support the channel link like comment and subscribe all subscribe all down below and uh yeah thanks for watching thanks for all the support i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace